So okay, in this next video in the probability series, we're going to define the concept of the expectation value of a random variable. Okay, so firstly, let's just have the definition. The expected value of a random variable x is equal to the sum over all values that x can take, so over all little x, uh, such that x can be such that x is a value that the random variable takes, um, times um, uh, you sum up the value little x times the probability uh, that that little x occurs. So the probability that x is the equal to little x. Okay, so this at the moment is a um, is a definition uh, which works only for discrete random variables. We will generalize it later to um, work for uh, continuous random variables. Okay, so at the moment, uh, this is our definition. For discrete random variables, this is how we calculate the expected value of the random variable for discrete random variables. Okay, uh, so um, so um, I want to motivate this definition. So, for instance, if we take a quite simple probability space, let's say we have a, a, some numbers, 0, 0, 0, uh, 1, 1, and then we'll have a 2. Uh, so, I want to make a probability space, and I want the I want basically to pick a single number from this array, so you pick a single number and I want to know uh, what are the outcomes of this experiment firstly. So the outcomes are I can get a 0, I can get a 1, or I can get a 2. What is the probability that I get each of these? Well the probability that I get a 0 is clearly a half, the probability that I get a 1 is clearly a third, not two thirds, a third, and the probability that I get a 2 is a sixth. So that's a nice probability space. Um, so you can think of this as the PMF, if you like. Um, this is a probability space almost directly so close to being a random variable uh, that there's no, not really any point in saying we're mapping it from, uh, from this to this. So really what you should do is this is an abstract probability space. This is the probability that you get this symbol. This is the probability, uh, sorry, this is the event that you get this symbol. This is the event that you get this symbol. To emphasize this further, in fact, let's say I made these symbols instead, phi phi, um, let's say this symbol here, and theta, uh, then the outcomes would be phi, phi, and theta rather than these, and the probabilities would be the same. So this would be an abstract probability space, and then what I'd have to do is map it onto um, a um, onto the real numbers so that I could do uh, this sort of a calculation here. But this is so close to being the real numbers already that um, we might as well just leave it there. In fact, we could say these are just real numbers and therefore the outcomes are already in the real numbers, so it's already a probability space in the real numbers, so we don't need a random variable here. Okay, and basically uh, what I want to know is what is the expected value that I would get here? Well, um, let's work it out in this sum. Uh, well, firstly, let's work out the intuitive sense of what would you expect to get. Well, it would be the mean of all of these, which would be uh, the sum of all of them uh, divided by how many there are. So there are three lots of zero, there are two lots of one, so we add those together, and there are uh, there's one uh, lot of two, and we need to divide that by six. And if you notice, we can... Um, I want to flip onto another piece of paper now. Okay, so now we're on a new piece of paper. Get this back up again. So if you notice, um, I could rewrite this as three times over six times zero, uh, plus two over six times one, plus 1 over 6 times 2. And these are all the probabilities. This is the probability that you get 0 uh, times 0. This is the probability that you get uh, 1 uh, times 1. And this is the probability here that you get a 2 times 2. So it's exactly that formula that I wrote above. And that's the motivation for where this cut comes from. This is what is known as a weighted average. So it's just like taking the mean here, except that you weight the importance of each of the terms according to uh, their probabilities, and that's and that. Uh, 
the these probabilities here have complete bearing over how many you have. But of course, in the general case, they might it, it might not have this immediate intu uh, intuitive interpretation here. But that's the intuition of where that expected value definition comes from. Okay, so now let's take some expected values of some of the distributions that we have done so far. So let's do the expected value of uh, the Bernoulli distribution. So the Bernoulli distribution. So let's take the Bernoulli distribution P. So we have the expected, we have the probability space which is 0 and 1 and we map 1 onto P and we map 0 onto Q or you could just write 1 minus P. Okay, uh, so what is the expected value in this case? Well, the expected value, so if you, if you had some random variable mapping, so this is x, mapping some arbitrary probability space onto here, then the expected value of x would be equal to uh, what would be uh, 0 times q plus 1 times p, just doing straight from the definition, and that's equal to p. So there's the expected value for any uh, random variable that is um, distributed in the where it's mapping it onto the Bernoulli space, or we could write that x is distributed Bernoulli p. Okay, uh, so now let's do another one. Let's do uh, the binomial n p. So let's again say we have x distributed binomial n p which means I have some random variable mapping some abstract probability space onto my standard probability space in the real numbers. Um, and we want to know what is the expected value of x. Well, this is going to be equal to um, the sum, let's write it all out, um, i is equal to 0 to n, so every possible real number that you have, times uh, that real number i, times the probability that x is equal to i. Now this is the PMF of the binomial distribution, which we know is p to the i, uh, q to the n minus i, times n choose i. So now it's just algebra, uh, i is equal to 0 to n, or i, p to the i, q to the n minus i, n choose i. Okay, um, so uh, how are we going to sum that up? And we'll continue this uh, discussion in the next video.